There appears to be some, uh, talk about the timer, and people not liking the timer, and people liking the timer, and people thinking the timer is too fast. Menace 1 5, the communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. I don't know. Position is obscured. I think the timers are pretty good. Position confirmed. So, not like a super nuanced strategy here, obviously. Requesting immediate evac. Let's see if we die or not. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. <laughs> Look at how much my game is stuttering. Trying to deal with the 17 billion aliens on this map. Is this a thing in original game XCOM? I don't remember that. Do you like suffer less if you attempted the mission? That's a mechanic, right? You get better mission rewards if you attempt and fail than if you don't attempt at all. Scanning. What was that? I really like Outlaw. He's an excellent stream viewer. Be a shame if you had to die. Enemy movement ahead. We gotta conceal Shinobi. We could just conceal in the corner of the map. It could be even better. Alright, cool. So that's like a thing with how the roll set is set up. You can do that and it gets you the mission. A little bit faster. Commander, we failed in our mission. We'll need to review our tech. I'm surprised that it was only 34 enemies at 0%. That's like fairly doable. The thing about 0% isn't that they're impossible, it's that the wound time you take on soldiers makes them not worth it. It's going to be interesting to see how the balance holds up as changes happen to this mod, because it's very, very um, interwoven, all of the different mechanics. And we like spent a ton of time trying to make the mechanics fit together right. And they could usually not. So one problem is that I never got a rendezvous in this region, so we're probably dealing with two or three faceless, slowing down our intel collection considerably. We also do not have a network tower in the region because this is the one with the network tower, so that slows down our intel connection collection as well, and so that's going to make it hard to detect this mission. Harder than it might be otherwise. Two days and four hours on a recover item, so I have to let that go. We have a corporal assault and an intel package. It's an extract VIP with 10 days on it. Extremely light mission game apparently wants to give me a break. Uh, let's build a team for that. Gonna do a flashbang. Specialist, technical, sharpshooter. That's already a pretty good looking team. Bring our new gunner as well. So we need one day for the specialist to finish flashbanger training, then I'll have an officer in the roster. And our gunner to be ready. 
This is the specialist I was... Okay, I'm still working on deciding what she does. Cool. Yeah, so... One day and we'll send a team to that. We're going to have to pick and choose missions a little bit more right now. As we don't have many soldiers. Uh, Ghostwalker, uh, face off on a sharpshooter is an interesting potential pickup. And I want to get Outlaw trained up as a grenadier. Really want another grenadier. Where do you go? can only infiltrate up to 200% and the reward for infiltrating gets progressively worse the more you do of it. So you take away one or two enemies from the mission every like 10% for the first 100 and then it's like every 20%, 30%, 50% or something and then never again. Aim on a gunner is really exciting. And I really need a ranger of some sort. Maneri could be a ranger. At least I would like a ranger of some sort. How about that? Flash banger training's almost done. Also, you don't necessarily want to spend forever infiltrating a mission. Let's put... Can't put aim on that gunner because I'm bringing him on the mission. Bringing the Grenadier too? No, I have a Grenadier to bring. Ghostwalker Grenadier. None of these do anything. I wonder what the interaction between locked on and pistol perks, which let you fire with your pistol for free, is. I'm gonna put Ghostwalker on this grenadier. It seems nice for missions where I don't have a shinobi. meowing at my door. Just a second. Your specialist technical bring this sharpshooter and the shinobi I sort of have to have a shinobi on extract VIP I think Holox needed a level up 
with deployment. Oh wait. Let's grab interference here. I'll go revival protocol. Yellow alert actions, probably. Push it over the edge such that that's good. I don't remember. I think I was going roust here. Roust fortify. <laughs> yeah, Brazil is an odd name for that region. That has given me pause also. Soldier already has a flashbang for free. I do not have many weapon upgrades, I feel. This looks pretty good. I'm gonna throw depth depth perception on Caitlin. I think she deserves it. Do you have any defensive AWCs? Yeah. Resilience. Resilience might be a good idea. An advanced auto loader onto this. Technical is going to take the fairly standard looking technical loadout. And my shinobi I think is good like that. Somebody should have a laser rifle. 62 aim. No. Or 72. Yes, we're just gonna hold on to the laser rifle for now. Okay. Glad we have that. We could buy laser SMGs for this team. Actually, I don't think about stuff like that. Let's put a nanoscale vest here. You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. I'm gonna vest up. I would like to stop having soldiers die. And with an extremely light mission, we don't need quite as many consumables. Worth saving up three attachments at the same place if they're moving ground project. Um, Sky Ranger Deadpool Squad Green to deploy. I would be a lot more excited about it if you have the proving ground project's costs reduced. You definitely don't have to do those. I actually haven't played around with them at all. I've never had the chance to do them on Legend. I think it will come up more often on lower difficulties. Is my assumption. I know. Bill Stoffel had a veteran campaign where he was doing quite a few of those. But on Legend, I'm sort of always using anything like that at all times, so I've never had the chance to mass produce stuff. Is this it? Resistance context plus one and 23 intel. What an awesome thing. We have a light. Um, troop column as well so these are some of my favorite missions in the game you go shinobi sharpshooter here we have to be extremely careful um Sometimes these are pretty tricky missions. 
Hopefully you guys won't find out why. And all we're gonna do is run into the mission and shoot the target, basically. And then here is a corporal assault versus a point of strength and a bunch of Just like a person from a Game of Thrones place, right? All right, let's support Squad Bravosi and send them over to the troop transport. Sky Ranger the vests are... They're all here. We'll be home it's actually a vest and a plaything, so they are designed to be worn together. You can't wear two vests and you can't wear two playthings, but you can wear a vest and a plaything. No longer need a shinobi. Oh, this doesn't work. Go with double sharpshooter instead. There we go. And because it's a troop transport, there's a little bit more likelihood that we'll actually be shooting. Seeing a gunner pretty bad right now. Okay, I probably need to do that. get away with sending one more soldier I'll do it this is what our team is doing for the next six days 12 hours basically Sky Ranger deployed. <laughs> sharpshooter five, missed five, five, five. two shots in the VIP uh yeah don't don't recommend I'm gonna have a chance to miss on my um my one that I'm doing here I don't have enough aim to guarantee a hit. You can also just sacrifice the shinobi on the VIP. Just like flash in and kill him. It's probably worth it to advance the liberation plotline. May 7th, wow. Okay, what do I do? I think I scan in New Brazil. I scan in Eastern US to try to find a supply raid with good time. It doesn't actually matter very much what I do because there's the dark event reducing the effectiveness of the Avenger. Undercutting intelligence collection. Let me look up how much that is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a find and path for my. This is how I do stuff. Um, find and path for my XCOM2 mod folder. I'm searching for counterintelligence sweep. Found three of them. 
and this says that its um, like internal name is dark event underscore counterintelligence sweep. So now I'm doing a search in the path for dark event counterintelligence sweep. Huh. And this says that we have to find x2 strategy element underscore dark events underscore l long war default counterintelligence sweep intel multiplier. Let's look for that. Whew. And that's actually in my base game files. So let's look for that. Sorry, I know I'm doing this off stream, so you guys have no idea of what I'm doing, but we're going to find out what on earth is going on. Okay. I'm not sure that I know, but I've decided it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm probably not collecting very much intel anymore, but as long as we finish Liberation 3 here, we're fine. We have an engineer to extract. Four days, 20 hours, we'll just pass on that. Gaddy Knight is an officer. You're an officer, Harry. Uh, okay. Does Deadshot apply to secondary weapons? I might throw him back in and get Deadshot as well. But I really want to send him on a mission. Hmm. Oh, right. He just finished officer training. Uh, or I could make him another level of officer. Let's do that, since I'm not using the officer tube for anything else right now. Ghostwalker is done. Low profile in this grenadier. It's actually pretty appealing, but I can't train it yet. Guess to level up before he can. What does Bibbit have? I feel like Bibbit's been gone for a long time. Oh, he's new. Really? Okay, I believe he is a ghost walker. Can grab evasive volatile mix. Um, I'll train volatile mix on him. Just so that I'm using the tube for something. Yes, the you only get half of the mission reward for killing the enemy VIP. The other half is for capturing. So you still complete the mission for killing. All I'm going to try to do is kill. But you do benefit from doing both. I may not end up needing this resistance comms since I am not generating very much intel at the moment. And... Ooh, managed to tick up to three strength here. Actually, they did it by pulling a legion out of New Mexico. That's sort of funny. I'm going to go back to full intel generation here. Maybe we can liberate that region. Uh, three strength still is manageable. We'll see if it ticks up a ton as I'm infiltrating as well. Here's another one. 
This is an eight day, 10 hour supply raid. All right, that's money. That's a lot of money. Awesome. So we'll do this troop transport and then this supply raid. You guys, uh, <laughs> there have been, I have responded to so many comments that there are so many guerrilla ops and you never get to shoot enemies. And then you get to the point in the game where you're only doing supply raids and retaliations. And maybe people will like, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. It will be interesting to get feedback on the game from people who have actually played it all instead of people who have played the first two months. Uh, so I'm gonna scan up to 100% here, basically. 18 hours until 100%, perfect. 99%, very light, yeah, same thing. Should be a really easy mission. We get a few resources and some corpses from this and we destroy a point of advent strength. I'm like trying to keep up with um, the Pavonas chatter today. I haven't even been trying. The previous few days. 